PGA Sports and the PGA Tour. Proud to bring you the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today's coverage of the Daybreak Classic is about to begin. I'm Luke Elvey, alongside Rich Beam in the booth, and it's a hello to Henny Koyak down on the course, following our featured group. Hi Luke, I'm pleased to be following this featured group, as there are rumours of quite a rivalry kicking off between these two players. And so this week, Henny, they're vying to beat Tony Finau. This should inspire some brilliant play. Oh, Tony Finau will not be letting up this week, Luke. But he's such a nice guy, you almost don't want to beat him. I mean, it's tough, but you must. I don't think you're going to outdrive him, that's for sure. But I am playing... Oh, well, maybe you can get him there. You have to putt well, though. Tony Finau might be a big, cuddly teddy bear, but when it comes to playing on a golf course, he's going to try and strangle you to death. Good luck trying to beat Tony Finau. There is literally no weakness in this man's game. Now he knows how to win. An opportunity for a birdie here. The putt drops, and that's back-to-back -back birdies. Two in a row there, Luke, getting their groove on. And the third hole here at Old Marina Golf Club uh, looks very familiar, Rich. Par four, playing 444 yards. Luke, if you're a fan of Pebble Beach Golf Links, you're absolutely going to love this hole. Just 444 yards from the back tees. Driver really isn't necessary as there is out of bounds over on the right-hand side that comes into play in a hurry. Just avoid the bunkers on the left-hand side. Find the fairway. Second shot plays slightly uphill. It actually looks like an infinite edge pull. It's really difficult to judge distance control with that second shot. Still a great hole, one that you dearly love to make birdie on. Here we are at the fourth hole. That dog will hunt. Nothing like a bit of momentum here, Rich. This one's going for another birdie. It's a good start to the day. Let's hope they can keep up the good form. Yeah, disappointing not to find the surface, Rich, but I like that play. Needed to take a little less club on that approach. Oh, I thought that one was going in. Trying to get it to four under with this putt. This is what they have left for birdie here. And with that, that's their fourth birdie. And that will take him to four under. It's time to step on the tee here at the fifth. Chosen the pitching wedge here. And this one might need to get down a little. And this putt is for a big two on the scorecard. Wow, that's misjudged. A seven-footer right here. That's a good putt for par. You'll take it. That hole looks double the size for this player this week. Next up is a par four. Always a stern test. That's heading for the fairway. Well, with a pocket full of FedEx Cup points over the last half a dozen starts or so, this player certainly has been delivering consistent results and pushing for wins or winning, Rich. Do you expect that to continue here this week? Luke, absolutely. Week in and week out, this player has consistently performed at the highest level. i got to believe he's a lot of people's favorites to win this tournament. That's tidy. Taking aim from about 220 yards out. Currently leading by three. Well, this one's going right at the flag. And he's hit that inside the range. Well, this would be a bonus. This is a very long putt. Just didn't drop. Yeah, it's just about three feet away. This for a birdie, birdie run. Let's see what happens here at the eighth. Opting for the five wood. They get a little ground draw here. Oh, what a lovely shot. He'll be delighted to be inside the range there. OK, Henny, what's he looking at with this putt? Straight back up this hill. Can be firm here. Oh, just missed. Pretty straightforward four-footer coming up here. 
leading by four strokes after that one. The ninth hole here, though, at Old Marina Golf Club is a strong one, a really tough test to finish the opening nine. A par four, stretching 466 yards. For those who like to work the golf ball from left to right, you're going to have to take a little bit of a chance by aiming over that hazard on the left-hand side. But if you find the fairway, boy, I tell you what, that's a fantastic feeling because this hole has got so much beauty. I love the second shot, the bunkers on the front, but I love how the green runs away on the left-hand side. The design of this hole, especially the green, is absolutely amazing. Let's see what happens here at the 10th hole. Yeah, you hit a beauty, didn't you? And what's in front of them there, Henny? Well, I wouldn't mind hitting the shot, but I wouldn't fancy the walk up here. This is quite uphill. What a shot! Almost went in the bucket. Always nice when you can just go ahead and tap one in for birdie. And now teeing off on this par four hole. Yeah, this is a quality looking shot, this one. That should find the short stuff. Time for the second shot at the 11th. This looks to be heading to the green. Wow, what a shot. Be nice to see this one go down. Let's see if they make it. Going with the seven. Should find the green here. Anything in five feet to be handy from here. It was on a good line. Oh, these are good for the momentum, these ones. Right on eight feet. Right over the spot they were looking at. That gets the job done. And with that hole finished, they're currently in the lead with Brooke Henderson following in second. Tee shot is looking good here. Rich Canadian golf has had a number of people to be able to hang their hat on over the years. Obviously, most recent on the men's side, Mike Weir is a major winner, but the impact that Brooke Henderson has had on the game seems to have been even more significant. It has been, and she doesn't carry the mantle just for uh, women's golf in Canada. She carries a mantle for Canadian golf in general. She's such an amazing, delightful young lady to be around. Her personality is is uh, infectious. She's just a good soul. And she carries that around to the golf course. I mean, two-time major winner. But what I'm impressed about most with her game, Luke, is the fact that, you know, she is such a long hitter in the game. You don't quite see too many women in the game right now that they don't talk about hitting it long like we do in the men's game. But make no bones about it, she hits it a long way out there. That gives her a massive advantage over some of the other players, and that's why she is such a prolific winner on the LPGA. Putting for birdie. And the putt drops, now 11 under, heading down the stretch. And yeah, nice to have that cushion heading down the last few holes. Oh, well done. Second shot here on the 16th. Oh, that one just missed the hole. Eight feet to the cup. Little birdie look in here. Oh, gee, that line was looking good, wasn't it? You know, Luke Donald once made all 400 plus attempts inside three feet on the PJ Tour. Uh, that's a little untidy. Henny, I'm sure you've got a better look of that lie. They'll have to get their best bunker technique out here because this is nasty. Ah, that's a tad unlucky. They could have got out. Oh, clever play that. Just get it back into the fairway. Time now for the fourth shot. 
Uh, a little off the mark on that approach shot. Missing it short there. They will definitely be upset. Beauty of a chip shot there. Oh, Dr. Chapinski strikes again. Well, this is when the adrenaline really starts to kick in. Leading the tournament with the final hole to play. Good luck. Oh, what a wonderful play. Leading with intent. Oh, really leaned on that tee shot. That went forever. Oh, he's been putting on a clinic all day. Another beauty by our leader. Well, Rich, they say winning becomes a habit, and this player's certainly making a habit of it. Luke, the victories, winning never gets old, but this is getting out of hand, isn't it? Another victory on the season. And Rich, credit where credit's you. I think you picked this victory. Well, even a blind squirrel gets an acorn every once in a while. No, listen, this player's been there all season long. They're just one of these rare players that is seemingly in contention.